Now you can just have like a cereal eating montage. Okay, today we welcome Johnny Pace. Hey everybody, it's great to be here. Thank you, Sam, for having me. You're welcome. Johnny, I didn't want you to be nervous, so I brought some of your favorite cereal out here. Oh, wow. So that we could lighten the mood a little bit. Well, I really appreciate that. How did you know Lucky Charms are my favorite? I... Was it a lucky guess? It is a lucky hey. guess. A lucky guess? Okay. I gotta be honest, this is my, uh, this is the first time I've gotten to enjoy cereal while on a talk show. Yeah? Uh, so yeah, props shows, to you. How many talk shows have you been on? I mean, I've kind of lost count at this point, <laughs> but this is definitely the first time that cereal has been involved, so. Well, I'm glad we could mark that off your list. Yeah, cheers, man. Cheers. Here, here are a few facts about Mr. Pace. He's not famous jazz vocalist Johnny Bass from the 1950s and 60s. At least I don't think he is. You're not, are you? Can I confirm or deny? <laughs> Johnny is a third year in native Virginia. He went to Westfield High School, state championship in the 1600, his senior year. Um, he had a pretty good cross country season his sophomore year of college, where he was part of the top seven and went to nationals, or qualified for nationals, but unfortunately suffered a stress fracture in the weeks leading up to the race. Um, he's been working and gets stronger ever since then and is competing again this indoor season and we're hoping for big things I think probably running into outdoor as well. He's also a student in the very competitive commerce school at UVA. Anyway, while researching I found this interesting quote from when you were um, asked about the best movie to watch on a first date. Do you remember this interview that you what? conducted? You don't remember nope. this? Uh, um. No, right. remind me. It says, you answered with, and a quote here, <laughs> watching the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy <laughs> is a great way to spend quality time with the new day. Picking the right movie can be stressful, but watching this 11 hour masterpiece will ensure you get to know the other person very well. You know what? I think those words are still very true, and uh, whenever I conducted that, you know, I think that was very insightful, and I would, I would answer the same today. I think... That's a very, very good first date uh, choice as far mm -hmm. as movies go. You know, I knew you were a stand-up guy coming into this, but really, that just puts you on a whole nother level. Thank you. And have you ever tried that tactic on a first date? That's my go-to. I mean, at this point, I've probably watched over 100 hours of Lord of the Rings. I, I got that I got that whole script up in the old noggin. <laughs> what are some goals that you have for this outdoor season? Well, um, you know, as you alluded to, this will be my first um, healthy season of outdoor track. Um, so just to be able, I want to get through the whole season um, and, and be in a position to contribute to the team at, at ACCs. I know that we, the team can do some really big things, and so I'm just going to have my eye on, on getting those points, however, however coach might need me to do that. So whether that's the 5K or, or some other event, but that's definitely going to be my main focus. Excellent. Do you plan on kind of like doing anything differently than you have the past few years or still trust in the process? Um, I know, I mean, I can relate to this too, you know, having had a stress fracture as well. You kind of try and think, I think, or like how maybe you can take care of yourself a little bit better, but those things do kind of spring up on surprise, so it's kind of hard to yeah. guess what you need to do. Yeah, I mean, I think Coach is very, very knowledgeable and I trust him a lot. Um, something I've really been thinking about more is um, like how I fuel. Um, mm -hmm. I recently have really been into like eating a lot of unprocessed foods and that's kind of something I didn't do before. I didn't really think about so. <laughs> as we look at you. As we, I mean, this it's is okay. The, we had a long run this yeah, morning. Everybody needs to take a cheat every now and then. <laughs> um, <laughs> unprocessed foods and lucky charms. This is, this is yeah, too I mean, food they're food. lucky so like <laughs> They can't be bad for you, no, really. No, in fact, They're, I would consider them essential. You're sure, like, n native Irish food, you know, uh, so it's got to be good. Yeah, no, I totally agree. But, yeah, I think, you know, preventing injury at the college level is, like, the biggest thing. So, you know, stretching right and, and, and getting the right type of rest. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that's definitely something to, to stay focused on. Yeah, I think that's important for sure. The people know that you're academically driven. What are you working towards? Through academics and commerce, like what's your what's the end goal? Right. 
So actually, I was just offered um, my first internship with an investment bank for the summer. Congratulations. Um, you, you, for, you heard it here first, actually. This is hot off the press. Um, <laughs> And so I really like the idea of down the road of being able to make my own sort of investments, whatever that might look like, um, whether it's like owning a company or investing in companies, but I'm t hoping to get those first steps now, um, yeah. just kind of get some exposure to the, the world of business. Um. And then my final question for everyone is, what are some tips you have for people that are trying to accomplish what you've accomplished in running, kind of like maybe making it to this level? Sure. Um, you know, I think you need to really know to believe in yourself if you have goals about what you want to accomplish. And then don't just maybe go after it blindly, but try and really educate yourself and, and reach out to mentors and kind of learn more because there's a lot you can learn about the sport and there might there's always something that you can improve on, whether that's upping your mileage or doing different types of workouts. I would encourage people to do as much research on their own instead of just kind of going along with it um, mm -hmm. and going along for the ride. Like, take some initiative and you can definitely impress yourself with what you, what you can accomplish. Awesome. Thank you. Wise words from Johnny Pace and an excellent interview about how to get yourself better. Thank you, Johnny Pace. It's been a pleasure, Sam. As well. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, appreciate you guys listening. See you next week. Now you can just have like a cereal eating montage. Thank you Who Are They fans for more awesome content like this. Please subscribe and click on the box to hit the last video and the last interview. This will be a weekly thing. We'll be interviewing lots of the UVA track and field team here in Charlottesville. So stick around and see what else we've got. Thanks. I don't know how lucky charms in a while. Dude, they're so good.